we all love to watch the super powerful heroes of the MCU kicking butts. A lot of butts, actually. They, they seem to kick most butts they come across, if we're being totally honest here. But it's not just the heroes that are powerful in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are a lot of artifacts that you don't really want to mess with because they can cause some serious damage. Let's check out some of the most powerful ones, shall we? Before we get into it, though, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's the best way to stay up to date with all our new stuff. Yaka Arrow the Yaka Arrow is pretty terrifying. I don't think people realize just how dangerous Yondu Udanta was in the first Guardians movie until this scene where he just went completely nuts with the Yaka Arrow. This deadly little thing is forged from Yaka metal and made with technology native to the Centaurian people, which is where Yondu is from. A Yaka Arrow is controlled by a specific range of frequency. That's how Yondu is able to move it around by whistling. And because it's so sharp, it can pierce through pretty much anything. It takes a lot of training to control it properly, though. And as we saw, it's not exactly easy. I'll stop you, moron! The Eternal Flame. The Eternal Flame is extremely powerful. So powerful, in fact, that in Thor Ragnarok, Hela sees an Infinity Stone and is like, meh, and then keeps walking towards the flame. That's pretty serious. She's able to use the flame to resurrect an army of the dead and her giant killer wolf. So that's a pretty solid power. After Loki places Surtur's crown in the flame, it gave Surtur his true power, which ultimately is what brought on Ragnarok, which kind of sucked for the Asgardians. But on the other hand, it's how they were able to defeat Hela. So kind of a win-lose situation on that one. Gungnir. Thor has Mjolnir and Odin has Gungnir. I think we'd all appreciate some weapons that are easier to pronounce, but what are you gonna do? Gungnir isn't just a spear, but a conduit for the Allfather's powers, and so it's able to do some pretty incredible stuff. It can open pathways to the Nine Realms and can also beam the user directly to places that don't need a conduit. It also shoots powerful energy blasts, which is always useful, and when all else fails, you can stab people with it. Unfortunately, this artifact was destroyed along with the rest of Asgard in Thor Ragnarok, so we've probably seen the last of it in the MCU. The Book of Cagliostro this isn't the kind of book you can order on Amazon or download on your Kindle. The Book of Cagliostro is a key plot point from 2016's Doctor Strange and for good reason. Just a single stolen page from the book holds the key to opening up a portal to the Dark Dimension. That's where Dormammu was hanging out. And coincidentally, that's where the book draws its power from. It's also revealed to be the reason why the Ancient One was able to live for so long. Doctor Strange also uses the book to mess around with the Eye of Agamotto. In short, any book that can harness power from the Dark Dimension and an Infinity Stone is a pretty big deal and not something to mess with. That, my child, is the next step in our evolution. The Cosmic Cocoon the MCU has spent a lot of time so far focusing on Infinity Stones, and for good reason. If you hadn't realized, they're going to be pretty important in Avengers Infinity War. But the most powerful item in the MCU, other than the Gauntlet and the Stones, has received significantly less screen time. We saw a cosmic cocoon in the Collector's, well, collection, and that place kind of blew up thanks to an Infinity Stone. We also saw a cosmic cocoon in a post-credit tease at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And that is where stuff gets serious. Also known as a birth pod, the cosmic cocoon is what the Sovereign used to procreate. Not super sexy, but hey, that's how they do it. This cocoon is the birthing place of Adam Warlock, who's probably gonna be kind of a big deal in the MCU. In fact, in the Infinity War storyline from the comics, it's actually Adam Warlock's evil doppelganger, Magus, who ends up being the main antagonist. Maybe the Phase 3 climax of the MCU will give us Thanos actually teaming up with the Avengers, setting aside their differences to take down this massive threat. If you had to pick one of these powerful artifacts to have, which one would it be? What are some other objects in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that are also super powerful? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Screen Rant if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.